Hello friends, welcome to Muluka IS. Friends, we would be discussing a very important question today. A question based upon Ashoka Tham. A question that is important and that could come in exam in paper 1 or its implementation part could be coming in paper 4. As a bohut sare aur bhi questions hain. UPSC har saal push rahi hai. You should be very well aware with this conceptual clarity. Ashoka's dham that was there that prevailed started by for example King Ashok the Maurya and all that particular thing is still relevant in the present context. Now we question. The question is Ashoka's dham was basically a moral moral m o r a l code of a conduct for social, cultural and moral advancement of a subject. Highlight the importance of Ashoka dham in the 21st century. What was Ashoka dham? It was basically a moral code of a conduct. For what? For the advancement. What advancement? Either it is a social advancement or the cultural, cultural advancement or for example, the very important base is the moral advancement that has been there. It was. And in this way, what can you see in this club in the 21st century? Mein kis se dekh sakte ho? A very very important question that can be there. There are many questions from the UPSC. Every year, you ask questions from the UPSC. Now, we talk about Ashoka's dham. It was basically a moral code of conduct. Conduct is such that you behave morally in which way. With whom? With your parents. With your society. 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 Raja ke saath kya behave karoge? Friends ke saath kis tarikhe se behave karoge? Teachers ke saath kis tarikhe se? Parents ke saath kis tarikhe se behave karoge? And therefore, it has to be a moral code of conduct that has been there. Or bola, agar ab sahi tarikhe se behave karoge, you will be getting the benefit not only in this world, world also in the, for example, in the next world, world also. So, wahan pe kya bola gaya? It is said that a moral code of conduct was there. Kyu tha? Not only for advancement, but also for upliftment. Upliftment, for example, that will be leading you to a bliss. A moral code of conduct for upliftment of the people. Not only in this, but what, for example, in the next world also. So, when you talk introduction ki comparatively, you have to tell about the moral code of conduct. Ke bare mein padega. And when you talk about certain duties, certain responsibilities for upliftment of the people, not only in this, but what also in the next world, for up, uh, moral advancement, cultural advancement, social advancement, Look, what is this? What introduction we get? Is it is basically conformity to social ethics? You are conforming to the higher social ethics that are prevailing in the society. Kya karna hai? Apko samaj mein kis tarikhe se behave karna hai? Social ethics. Apko parents ke saath kis tarikhe se behave karna hai? Teachers ke saath kis tarikhe se behave karna hai? Social ethics. Therefore, he was basically concerned with not only social ethics, not only cultural advancement. But also, what better ways of governance could also be there? Social ethics plus better way of governance that could be achieved. Why this governance? Because he was focusing upon reducing the social conflict that were there and intolerance that was prevailing at that particular point of time. Same thing, social ethics could develop. Karna. Same thing, broader ways of governance ko find karna kis tariqe hum society mein badiya tariqe se governance de sakte hain is equally relevant in the 21st century. So, when you look at introduction, what happened in the introduction? Mein kya hua hai? It was basically a moral code of conduct for the upliftment of the people. Not only this birth, but also the next birth. And therefore, it was basically providing what a, what a person should be doing and what he should be or uh, uh, not be doing. And therefore, laying the basis for the social ethics. Not only laying the basis for the social ethics, but also he was trying to, because the society was comparatively very diverse, he was trying to find out new ways of governance that could be there. People could be involved. Therefore, for example, what Let the people come to me and complain to me if there is anything. I will be treating my subjects as my children. What is governing? Better ways of governance that was there. Why was the introduction as a okay? Second thing. Why was he focusing upon governance or, for example, providing a basis for the social ethics? Because there was a sort of tension that was prevailing in the society. Some sort of tension, for example, must be prevailing in society. For example, there were newly emerging communities that are there. Communities that were there, for example, mercantile community. Or, for example, the administration had become very complex 
and these mercantile community that were their newly emerging community was very rich and therefore they were demanding a higher social status on the basis of the huge amount of wealth that these people have accumulated and not only this but also having the administrative issues also administrative problems for example wahapati and therefore that why administrative problem because administration has become very complex q you have such a huge empire afghanistan se leke for example pure ka pura hindustan aapke under hai and not only the administrative problems it was there because of the for example a huge size of the empire not only huge size but another thing that is there the people that were prevailing at that particular point of time was multicultural people multicultural system that was prevailing at that particular point of time sab alag alag hai नॉर्थ इंडिया में अलग कल्चर है सेंट्रल इंडिया में ट्राइबल कल्चर है साउथ इंडिया में एक और तरीके का कल्चर है अफगानिस्तान वाले रीजन में अलग कल्चर है जम्मू कश्मीर में अलग कल्चर है एंड देयर फॉर मल्टीपल सोशल एंड कल्चरल सिस्टम पर प्रवेलिंग एंड दिस प्लूरलिस्टिक सोसाइटी दैट वॉज देयर एंड विद अ शीर साइज ऑफ द एम्पायर दैट वॉज देयर ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू परसुएड पीपल आप किसी को बाइंड करके रखना है ना फ्रेंड्स देर टू वेज दैट आर देयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आइदर वाई फोर्स or for example by persuasion and he was saying that uh, i would be going for the second thing if we have to bind this modern empire we need social ethics we need better ways of governance and therefore for example he was saying ki agar ikattha karna hai to hame kya karna padega it is a, the persuasion that is there persuade kaise diya jayega by providing for unifying principles unifying and when for example you आप क्या करोगे आप यूनिफाइंग प्रिंसिपल्स प्रोवाइड करने की कोशिश करोगे इंटेलेक्चुअल थॉट्स एंड अदर थिंग्स वर देयर एंड दोज प्रिंसिपल्स वर प्रेवलेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आल्सो वो इंपॉर्टेंट है प्रिंसिपल्स क्या दिए यूनिफाइंग प्रिंसिपल्स फॉर एग्जांपल क्या देने की कोशिश करी वट अ सब्जेक्ट वट अ पर्सन शुड डू एंड वट अ पर्सन शुड नॉट डू फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही शुड नॉन वॉयेंस शुड बी देयर kindness should be promoted integrity should be promoted donation should be given respect should be given to brahman to shramnas to elders to parents to children it has to be provided aur jo aapko nahi karna for example for you have to shun pride anger jealousy ye chhod do to yahan aap unifying principles kahan pe aapko kuch karna hai aur kuch for example aapko nahi karna hai same cheat 21st sadi mein bhi to prevalent hai is a problem there is a diverse society that is there india is a huge empire multi uh, multi for example cultural empire that has been there certain communities are daily rising demanding different things and therefore we need to have a unifying principle for example the constitution of the country as a unifying principle that has to be there and do uh, we most important thing is they are imp- imp- there not all this is a huge amount of intolerance kahin na kahin pe kuch logon mein zaruri fail chuka hai to wahan pe kya Let us provide for a unifying principle. जो प्रॉब्लम उस समय थी वो प्रॉब्लम आज भी है और कहीं ना कहीं पर उससे बड़े लेवल पर जा चुकी है We need a unifying principle. We need a social code of conduct. We need social ethics. We need better ways of governance by involving people. And ये तब होगा for example, when we recognize dignity of a man. Every person have their own dignity at that particular point of time. and kaise hoga for example by inculcating what do you have to inculcate you have to inculcate its virtuous behavior kuch aapko karna hai kuch for example nahi karna hai. and this should be there across all social religious or for example the cultural barriers what is important is virtuous behavior should be there why because we are recognizing the dignity of the man we have to abstain killing general welfare has to be there and therefore social responsibility have to be the concept of uh, of social responsibility has to be there is tarike se aap likhoge and last me for example when you would be concluding certain things for example in the last pattern you would saying that those problems which were there during the ashoka's them are still prevalent in in different format or for example somewhere less somewhere more but on the other hand by providing for a unifying principle by providing the dignity to the men the same thing by that as ashok provided the unifying principle or the society could be unified and we could be in a position to upload the uplift the society full stop
फ्रेंड्स ऐसे और बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन हम डेली में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं द मॉडल आंसर आपको लोक आई एस की ऐप के ऊपर मिल जाएगा वट एवर हैज़ बिन देर और जो भी जी एस के आंसर्स भी हैं वो भी आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवरी थिंग यू आर गेटिंग और जी एस के साथ साथ आपके ऑप्शन हिस्ट्री का पोलिटिकल साइंस हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश में फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी आपको मिल रहा है तो डू वॉच ऑल दो क्लासेज रेगुलरली दीज क्लासेज विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन और आपको टू द पॉइंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सब कुछ मिले थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स टेक केयर ऑफ यूर्स